What's up everybody, Matt Rhodes here. Thanks for joining me. Today we are talking about backpacks. guys so backpacks I usually carry the biggest backpack around all day long fishing fishing when I fish when I go bank fishing you see all the past videos that I do I walk a lot I mean a ton of ton and by the end of the day that big old bag my back is killing me I feel it the next day for sure it's I mean it, it's a good workout but if you could go and still have tons of energy afterwards especially to play with my kid and everything when I get home because that kid's got more energy than, than anything I know. But guys, uh, I just picked up the backpack and let me tell you, it's it helps tremendously. And I'll give you some more details on what I pack in my backpack. But first, I got the Caskeen Sling Bag. Now this thing is made for the versatile outdoorsman who pretty much does everything. Like it's made for camping, it's made for hunting, made for fishing. Anything you can think of to use this thing, you can use it for. Throws right into my vehicle. I can put my rod right into the front of my truck. And I don't have a ton of room in the truck, so this helps out a lot. And let's just dig in. I'll tell you what my necessities are, what I carry in a small bag, because you're going to really downsize all your fishing tackle when you go out to go pond hopping with this bag right here. And you're only going to be taking the necessities. So first of all, I got my line cutters, my pliers, right here on the outside. And then I'll put my scale. This side's for like a water bottle or anything, but I like to put my scale quick and easy access. So I can grab my scale. And then this, this small front pouch. Sometimes I'll throw my wallet in there, sometimes I'll keep my pocket, but I like to keep up my terminal tackle. It's just a little container full of terminal tackle, hooks and weights and shaky heads and Anything you can think of, I'll throw in there. But it has extra components. You can easily put your wallet, your phone in there, put your phone in your side pocket, whatever you want. It has this little middle pocket right here. Um, I got a ton of soft plastics. Like I, I've packed this thing full of soft plastics. But you know the basic soft plastics: uh, watermelon, red flake, regular watermelon, black and blue. Here in Florida, I mean. Stick to those colors, you're probably pretty pretty good. And then I got one, you can probably fit two in here, but I only have one 3200, because I didn't want to overdo it and then tell you just one, if you pack it right, it's good to go. And I'm about to put a couple of big swim baits in here that I got on order, but right now I have it full of swim jigs, um, chatter baits, lipless crankbaits, frogs, and buzz baits and spinner baits right here. But that pretty much covers the scenario. I got black and blue, I got watermelon red flake, I got blue bluegill color, and I got white. And those colors pretty much are good for like any situation. When you show up and it's muddy water, they're good for any situation. Now, if you want to come prepared when you show up to a pond, which is a good idea, uh, you can pack your 3200s with whatever conditions you think it's going to be. And then put them in your vehicle somewhere, floorboard, you know, whatnot, whatever you want to put it. And then when you get there and you see the conditions, the water clarity, anything, you can just grab whichever one you want, throw it in here, and hit the bank fishing. You can put it around you, and you throw it like this, and then you can just flip it around and grab all your stuff out. Really simple and easy. Or you can just throw it over your shoulder, grab all your stuff out. Really simple and easy. So, so slowing it down. It helps me at the end of the day a lot. Now we'll go over the backpack qualities and why I chose this backpack. But I picked this one because they made this out of a 600D polyester material, which makes this thing super durable, makes the zippers hold up longer. They also made this out of a PVC material. On that, you can see the cross stitching and stuff, which makes it water resistant. So when it's raining, it's gonna keep a lot of the water out during the rain and you'll have a lot more time to be able to fish and not have to worry about your gear getting soaked. But any, no matter what, when I'm going fishing, I always try to get the most waterproof containers I can. 
just in case. The shoulder strap is made out of this mesh padding, which is you see in a lot of bags nowadays. It's really good. It's got the adjustable sling clip with a rubber thing, so you can keep that down. It's not flapping everywhere. It's got the clip down here for your left-handers or right-handers. You can switch it to the other side right here, which is good. Or you can also use this clip to clip some other stuff on. Like I could clip my my scale on that, but I usually don't. It's got the mesh padding on the back too to help comfort and support, which is good. It's got the pulls, and the pulls have that rubber piece, which uh, it help. It doesn't wear your fingers down. Helps grip it. And helps be able to open those really easily. It's got the uh, here, let me take this off for you guys. But it does have the mole straps where you can just put your pliers in, put anything in that you need or want, which is really good. I also like to get a small thing of sunblock because this thing stretches out. I'll put my scale and some sunblock in there to help prevent from sun. But they come in different colors they got the camo, they got that greenish brownish color, and they got this color. For some reason lately, <laughs> I've been liking the vibrant green colors, and uh, that's what I've been getting. But I did get another one. I got the brown one, and my wife really enjoys that color, and that's the one she'll take when she goes out with me. All in all, guys, for the price point, this thing is under $20 on Amazon.com. Go to Amazon.com slash CastKing. Check it out. But I'll let you guys... Take a look at it. I'll let you guys decide what you think about it. And it's perfectly like 3200 small containers, another pocket for soft plastics, keep them separated. But then again, like I said, you can use this for camping. You can use this for hiking, small hikes with your water bottle. You can, if you strap this tight, you can actually use it for running. I've ran around the block a couple times and had some water in here and some other stuff. But it's, it's good. It's, it's a good backpack. I hope you guys enjoy it, and hope you guys hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys, remember, get out and fish.